Hey cruise fans and welcome back to Ray and Sue's Travel Channel. We're on the lovely Jewel of the Seas on our 14 day cruise around Dubai and the Emirates. We know you love a ship tour, so here's one with a difference. It's our stateroom, restaurants and bars tour. Enjoy. Okay, so here we are, it's day one, and we're in our stateroom, it's a balcony stateroom, and uh, just gonna give you a quick little tour. Now, first thing is, is on here, you can see some very useful information in terms of what to do in an emergency. So, what that says is, is about the muster station, where exactly you need to, exactly where you need to muster. Our muster station is W13, and it tells you exactly how to get there and the route you take and it's actually that it's on deck six so that's really quite useful it also shares with you information about how to put on your life jacket but i don't think we're going to be uh, expecting to use that uh, we'll do the muster a little bit later on but first of all what i'd like to do is just uh, share with you the Just share with you the bathroom. It's uh, not massively big, but it's uh, functional. And uh, there's some storage behind the windows, so behind the mirrors around there, obviously the loot. And it's got a nice uh, all enclosed shower, which is uh, all very nice, all very useful. As I say, not particularly big, but uh, functional nevertheless. And when we go out from here, we can go into the rest of the stateroom. So here we are on the right hand side and there is plenty of storage space. There's a little fridge down in here, um, obviously drawer space. And then when we arrive, we actually get a, uh, a few free gifts uh, from Royal Caribbean, given that we're uh, past cruisers and we've got high status on the Crown and Anchor program. So a nice bottle of wine and uh, bottles of water etc and uh, I think some cookies here as well so that's all very good and then lots of information regarding the cruise that we're on and this is a seven night cruise around Dubai and the Emirates and then every day on board they'll deliver us a cruise compass and it will tell us about all of the things that are going on on the ship and uh, what time for dining etc etc and things and activities that will be happening later on during the cruise. So we go further along and we've got a nice widescreen TV and a nice little safe to put our valuables. And if I spin around to the right, a nice king size bed and a nice little uh, couch, two seater couch and table. So that's all very good, nicely decorated. For the age of this particular ship, it's all uh, very nice. So <coughs> there we are. So, uh, and then as we go through, go through to the balcony and we can get onto the balcony like this. And here we are outside. So table and two chairs and, and a lounger, which is all very nice. A balcony that's also got some has got some shade so that'll be lovely during the midday or if we're at sea and we're out on the balcony that's good so I'll take you out and show you how uh, big that is 
so yeah quite a nice quite a nice size balcony and then of course here we are in Dubai and here is uh, Port Rashid and the Dubai skyline over the other side of the port and so that's the room tour and uh, the centre room itself is uh, quite nice and obviously some background music here but uh, uh, they've currently still got it decked out uh, with the Christmas tree and the Christmas decorations um, it's uh, the 9th of January 2020 today so but they do various pieces of entertainment here in the evenings this is a, a little hub uh, for information and as we go round as we go round you can see that the centrum goes over floors 4 to 10 so how nice is that so so that's the uh, centrum and you can get access to the centrum via the stairs and via the lifts which are here to my left and to the right and there's a lovely little bar here as well which is always popular and uh, uh, some nice seating uh, around so that's uh, quite pleasant so that's the centrum and on each floor you will see one of these ship schematics and here you can see that we're on floor four floor four and at every point you can see what is available where you are the red dot will indicate where you are on the ship and you can find out what's on on what floor both forward and aft uh, by uh, looking at this schematic so they're very very useful they're really really useful also uh, usually by the lifts you will see you will see a little schematic here uh, not entirely interactive schematics but again it will give you an idea of what floor and what the major activity is on each floor another little side view of the bar that's set up here on four so that's the centrum on floor four so on floor four as well and five we have the tides dining room and uh, this is where the main dining occurs on board ship unless you happen to be taking one of the cruise lines upgraded restaurants um, that might be Giovanni's or it might be Chops Grill etc but we can just take a quick look in here this morning and of course it's not open yet um, and the guys will be in here shortly setting up uh, for the breakfast service we're at sea today so there will be a breakfast service in here this morning and so it's a lovely restaurant spans deck four and deck five and you'll see shortly that they, they set up the centre area for the breakfast service so you can get yourself a buffet style breakfast uh, in the morning various fruits and cereals and all the usual uh, breakfast items hot buffet items and toast on the back etc etc and of course they're still setting it up so you not see too much in the way of, of detail we'll go up to the wind jammer in a little while and I'll do some filming up there as you can see it's a fantastic looking restaurant nicely decorated spanning over floor four and floor five so how about that so we'll go on a little bit more and you see the rest of the restaurant and then a really lovely centerpiece with the piano and from time to time we have the pianist come in and, and play and a rather nice water feature you can see here 
which is uh, quite pleasant. People like to come and uh, take photographs here. And uh, as we're near the stairwell, we'll go up to five and we'll show you deck five. And as I said, it spans over, over two floors. So here is deck five of the dining room. And uh, a lovely view onto deck four as well. And so that's Tide's dining room, and we'll go back out onto floor five now and uh, share some. Stay tuned. So that's the Tide's dining room and uh, as we go through the doors you can uh, see at most entry and exit points for dining rooms and lifts etc you'll always see a hand sanitizing station uh, to keep your hands clean uh, to help you have a happy and healthy uh, cruise. Here we go you'll see the the view over the balcony here on deck five and uh, this is looking back into the atrium and here we have a coffee bar now the coffee bar they make some great coffees here it's uh, fresh bean coffee some lattes cappuccinos etc etc and always plenty of little snacks for you to uh, to amean yourself of cookies and uh, light breakfast items in the mornings and then as you go through the afternoon other nice scrummy items and then of course as you go around further again some nice artworks on the on the walls they've got a lovely little Christmas display here that they've had up we've been on board Jewel of the Seas now over the last couple of uh, weeks and this is a lovely little Christmas display that they've put in. So that was deck five. I'm just going to go upstairs now to deck six. Uh, again, some lovely artworks. Again, some lovely artworks on here. A each of the stairwells. So as we proceed, uh, here is a sports bar and this is quite nice if you're into your football, if you're into your soccer, your baseball, you can come in here and you can watch Sky, you can watch NBC, sports, etc. And as you can see there's some games that are being televised at the moment but this is not quite a nice bar for the sports minded a sports fan you can come in have a few drinks and you can watch your favorite uh, sport team uh, play on the TV if you are lucky if they have that showing then that's great news so that's the sports bar and then we'll take a quick walk through the Casino Royal I'm not sure that we should be filming in here but nevertheless I'll take a quick walk through and as you can see on both sides there's usually a desk here where you can if you've got any uh, questions there's usually a casino host here that will uh, help you out with any questions and of course the ubiquitous uh, slot machines uh, everywhere now they don't turn these off because it takes an awful lot for them to, to reboot them every day so Whilst you might think there's an awful lot of electricity being utilised here when the casino is closed, actually it's much more cost effective to leave them on. But uh, of course it's a traditional casino so you can see that you'll have uh, roulette and you can play single, black, uh, single deck blackjack 
and uh, blackjack tables and Texas Hold'em and there's a craps table in the back over in the back there uh, you can play Texas Hold'em here you can play three card poker there's a craps table in the back there as well and this is sometimes a smoking area they try to split it smoking and non-smoking but it doesn't quite work uh, a variety of uh, roulette tables etc and uh, of course more slot machines and they also have a really nice bar here so the guys set this place up in the evening and uh, it's a nice bar area so if you happen to be in the casino or passing through you can get yourself a drink uh, so that's always quite good and, and it's quite a nice place for a little bit of entertainment if, uh, if that's what you would like Okay, so that's the casino where we are then we're back into the atrium and uh, there's a, another bar here, it's called Vintages. It's uh, predominantly set up for the purchase and consumption of wine, although you can get a variety of other drinks here as well, so it's not exclusively a, a wine bar. But they will have a number of different wines that are not available in some of the other bars and restaurants, which is nice. So if you have a particular wine that you enjoy, then this is where to come. And here we are again then, so back into the atrium. And so, you can also find here on deck six, the schooner bar, the safari club, and Giovanni's table and Jop Grill. So we'll just very, very quickly go to the TV here. So this is uh, Chop's Grill. This is an American steakhouse. Fantastic menu, get some brilliant steaks there. Give it a try it's one of the upgraded restaurants so you will pay about i think it's 45 dollars um, to go and eat there but the food is outstanding and the service is impeccable so and as you come into the uh into the bar there's a typical nautical theme that you would anticipate with a schooner bar this is a quite a popular area for for uh, hosting uh, uh, music and uh, there's a, always a, a pianist in the bar in the evenings. The guys are in here uh, at the moment just giving it a giving it the once over. We've got some nice very nice pieces of, of, of ship art here um, and, uh, and you can also come up here and they are trivia games and like and we don't think we can go in there at the moment but let's just see oh, we can but there's not a lot of light in there so here is chops grill uh, and i'll show you a little bit more footage of this later on because we're actually going to come up here for dinner but uh, a lovely restaurant and a super super level of service and food. And as we go on a little bit further, again, it's another bar in here. This is the uh, schooner bar. This is all set up a little bit later on. Uh, and you can find yourself a drink uh, of your choosing. Um, and as we go a little bit further along, here's the, uh, the piano where uh, pianists do various sets and, uh, and competitions, etc. And here is uh, Giovanni's, Giovanni's Table, which is a, an Italian themed uh, restaurant. Lots and lots of wonderful Italian meats and mezze and uh, a, an absolutely fantastic uh, menu of of soups and salads and some wonderful pasta and super fillet steak fillet de manzo it comes with a lovely brolo reduction and seafood and also buku 
and risotto. So, if Italian food is what you like, give Giovanni's Table uh, a go. Again, it's an uprated restaurant, so they will charge you about $30, $35. We'll just see if uh, we can have a sneak peek in there. Again, not much light in here. The light is off, so the quality of the film may not be that great. But again, a, a quite a nice, sultry, romantic look about the restaurant itself. And again, outstanding service and super, super food. So that's Giovanni's. So we're moving out of the schooner bar now into the Safari Club. And we're going to the Safari Club. And it's got a, a sort of African safari type feel to it uh, TVs on the right hand side and uh, interestingly on the left hand side uh, if I just uh, stand still for one second and you keep your eye on the pool table you might see it move from time to time and that is because these pool tables are auto leveling so you can come up here you can have a game of pool and the balls will not roll all over the table with the movement of the ship because they auto level so when you're playing your your game the balls won't roll around the table so how good is that And here we go then, so some nice decoration around the outside. And as we go further into the Safari Club, a very nice uh, bar and you can also get a nice uh, fresh coffee here as well. Um, I won't spend too much time in here because clearly you can see the guys are setting up the uh, art auction with all the artworks. So it's very much work in progress so you won't see the full effect of the of the safari club as it is currently but that's the safari club so that's the schooner bar safari club Chops Grill and Giovanni's Table. Okay, so we're now on deck 11 and we're just going to go outside into the pool area. Now this is the open pool area. And uh, you can see on here, in the outside area, we have uh, table tennis tables. And the guys are still putting the chairs out this morning, so it's still quite early. It's uh, just before 7. And uh, you will see some background, here's some background music. But uh, here's a lovely shot of the open pool deck uh, with jacuzzis. There is also a couple of bars in the pool deck. There's one the lower bar, lower pool bar, and then there's the sky bar up on deck 13. So that's all very nice. And typically, there'll be people up this morning having a bit of a walk around the deck, having a bit of a run because up on deck 13, so deck 12, there is a running deck area and uh, it's very very calm out today, it's going to be a lovely day as I mentioned we're going to be at sea today and the sun will be up shortly. Here we are on deck 12 
overlooking the pool and uh, they have the whirlpool buffs and of course the main pool and lots of lounges out and around for your enjoyment so if you want to get yourself a suntan want to come up here this is the place to be if you want to be close to the pool go on deck 11 if you want to be closer to the sun then go on deck 12. it's a little bit less crowded and uh, a little bit less activity going on which is always quite nice So there we are, the boys are still uh, putting the chairs and things out today, a few people up here taking some air and quite a nice open view. So that's the pool deck and deck 12. So up here at the Sky Bar, you can come up here anytime when it's open of course and find yourself a seat and that overlooks the pool deck and the jacuzzis and sometimes they will play a film or a program on the TV on the large screen TV which is always nice to uh, sit and watch if you're outside and bits of entertainment as well because just under that TV is the stage and that's where the bands will come out and do uh, outside sets and sail away parties and the like. So, that's deck 12. And here is the sky bar. And here we're going into the solarium. So this is a nice peaceful area to come. It's adults only. And... So nobody under 16 allowed in the solarium and there's a nice little uh, bar in the corner. You can get late night snacks in here and tables and somewhere to get a drink. And then a, a nice variety of padded, padded uh, lounges and it's done out again in a bit of an African animal theme you'll see elephants and uh, cats lounging around the pool and there's uh, shower facilities and as I say then a nice bar area there's a, uh, a jacuzzi in here and always a lifeguard on standby in case you have any problems or you get into any difficulties it's always there it's a fantastic effort by Royal Caribbean to ensure our safety and a very very nicely laid out area also the the roof actually retracts so at times when it's appropriate they will retract that roof and it will become an open solarium as opposed to an enclosed one so that's the solarium and of course the uh, ubiquitous jacuzzi warm jacuzzi bath so there we are that's the solarium and on the right hand side here there is a little snack bar where you can get an early morning breakfast uh, and fruit and breakfast items available and you can always get yourself a nice drink there's always cold drinks and hot drinks tea and coffee available in this part of the solarium so there we are it's uh, opening now we're uh, about 10 past 7 now in the morning so some of the areas are now starting to open up
So, hope that's been useful. That's the solarium. And as you can see there this morning, this little bar is open in the solarium and you can get yourself various pastries and sandwiches and fruit. And this will open up in a, in a little while. Now it's 6.30, so it's been open since then. So you can get yourself a little light breakfast if you'd like one. That's the bar in the solarium. And so that was the uh, pool deck in the solarium and the various activities available on deck 11 and 12. And so, and so the next area that we're going to go into is the Windjammer restaurant. This is the open buffet restaurant on the bow of deck 11 and uh, really nicely decked out. Nicely decked out in the side of the Windjammer. Side of the Windjammer you have a, a, an area, a seating area, a soft seating area which is like an extension to the Windjammer itself. And as usual, we will find we'll find our host that will greet us every morning. Good morning, good morning. Um, so here's the wind jammer, and the guys have got this set up now for the breakfast surface. And uh, it's a lovely, open, well decorated area with seating all around. And as we walk into the Windjammer, you will see a variety of food areas that are now set up for the morning breakfast. Now, there's not many people in here, and there's a young man here that is looking forward to selling you some alcohol this morning, but if that's what you'd like, then that's absolutely fine. Good morning. But uh, there's coffee bar and baked goods on the right-hand side. And here you'll be able to see now breakfast items. So, various forms of cereal and fresh fruit. Always available, nice fresh fruit, uh, both from the can and fresh. There's uh, chocolate milk, if uh, that's what you like in the morning. And various yogurts and flavoured milks. And again, more cereals on there. And on, on the hot buffet area, there's always carved meats readily available. There's various rices and spicy food if you'd like it, if that's your pleasure. And traditional English items of hash browns and sausages. And under here we can see there will be pancakes and blueberry, blueberry pancakes and the various, the various sauces and syrups that go with it. And as we come around, we've got crispy American style streaky bacon. And we've got scrambled eggs, just white eggs. Scrambled eggs with pork sausage, vegetable quiche, beans and sausage, breakfast potatoes. We're on the bread station, various forms of breads, fruit bread, rolls, etc. Some halal and gluten free items, and some very nice sausages, and easy over eggs, and omelettes. And then again, you can have your oatmeal, if you'd like that this morning. Uh, a bit of oatmeal. And then also uh, various cured meats and salmon. And waffles, if, so if you want to make some waffles, we'll have some waffles made for you, they can do that here. 
chocolate waffles, syrup, nuts. And there's some already prepared for the incoming uh, uh, guests for their breakfast. And again, more cold meats, cold salmon, etc. And oatmeal and uh, good morning. And as we go here, uh, we are at the egg station, so you can you can make a request to have your eggs with your white toast or your wheat toast or your muffins. And chef will do you some eggs, uh, poached eggs, scrambled eggs, fried eggs. And all you need to do is ask this young lady uh, and tell her what you'd like, and she will she will give you. Uh, a little buzzer and when your eggs are ready it will buzz and you can come and collect them from the station. <laughs> okay. And again, uh, more fresh fruit, some tin fruits and some fresh fruits and various sorts of mango and watermelon and fresh fruits as well. Also we have uh, the uh, ice station there where you can get yourself uh, a nice drink. You can get yourself a nice cold drink from there if you'd like it. And uh, fresh fruit. And there we are. So that's the uh, Windjammer restaurant. I think I've pretty much covered off everything we want to. And again, on this side, a repeat of the traditional breakfast items that we saw on the other side. You can get yourself some nice eggs. Here, hard boiled eggs. You can get yourself some traditional breakfast items. Scrambled eggs and beans and mushrooms. Also, very nice, black pudding. And English sausages. And English bacon. And then lastly, for the sweet tooth among you, you can get donuts and Danish pastries and fresh breads of a variety of different guises. And croissants and cinnamon rolls and twists and muffins etc there we are so that's the breakfast service it's starting to liven up a little bit now because uh, people are starting to come in for their breakfast so i hope you enjoyed that tour and uh, that's uh, the windjammer restaurant and uh, i'm going to enjoy a nice cup of earl grey so thanks for joining us and we'll see you again in a little while. Okay, so here we are on uh, deck 13 and we have the entrance to the Diamond Club and I'll share that with you in a little while. And also we have the Vortex Bar, Vortex Bar, which is essentially the Viking Crown Lounge on most other Royal Caribbean ships. And you can access also the concierge club here, which is reserved for suite guests and pinnacle members. Um, but uh, as we go into as we go into Vortex, you'll see it's the traditional a traditional. There's a little kiddies uh, play area there, and it's the traditional round. Crown Lounge, which uh, is like the Viking Crown Lounge on every other Royal Caribbean ship. So, so here we have a nice bar, and we have uh, various seating arrangements and access to deck 13 open area outside, and I'll share that with you in a little while. And in the Vortex lounge is also a, 
a little dance area where you have like a, a nightclub up here uh, a few times during the during the cruise depending on how long your cruise actually is so they might have a silent disco here they might have a, a standard disco and then at five o'clock every night it converts into the diamond lounge and uh, it's uh, access only for diamond diamond plus and pinnacle members so that's a vortex and here we have the concierge club this uh, is reserved for sweet guests and uh, pinnacle members only and preferred guests of the cruise line uh, very very similar to the diamond club in that there's coffee and pastries and various items always available and uh, here again this is the diamond lounge and uh, various seating uh, reserved for diamond diamond plus and pinnacle members only it oversees the uh, sky bar and the pool, pool deck and and uh, quite a nice uh, facility and the uh, concierge manager is always here and it also expands into the wider vortex bar should the numbers of diamond diamond plus and pinnacle members be large enough so there we are that is the diamond lounge and if you like this video, why not check out our channel, Ray and Sue's Travel Channel, where you'll find a raft of other cruise videos covering the Far East, the Middle East, the Mediterranean and the Caribbean and Mexico. So please leave us any comments that you'd like and consider liking and subscribing to our channel. It's through your subscription that this channel can grow. Thanks for listening, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.